Hi, my name's Naomi Nachman. I am a cookbook author and I run a Pesach catering business. And I thought I would share some tips with you about making an easy Pesach, stress-free Pesach, and I'm here to be able to share some great information with you all. I just wanna share one really important thing with people who are not used to making Pesach, whether they have a big family or a small family, cook once, eat twice. That's kind of like a motto that I've always done, is make one brisket, but instead of making just one, make two. They will have one for first days and one for second days. Or you can make one big roast and split it in two. You can freeze in both uh, two different pans. Just always label what you're putting in a pan and putting it in the freezer or in the fridge. That way there are no surprises later on. Another really great idea is to have, um, when you're having used to having a big family or a lot of company over and this year, everything is so much smaller. Some people may even be making pace up just by themselves. Decorate your table with something special, whether you get some flowers delivered or you have some candy and you can make a nice arrangement. Uh, take out your favorite tablecloth. Just do something extra special to make yourself smile when you look at your table. Um, choose your favorite wine. Cook your favorite meal. If there's something you've wanted to make during the year, why not make it for Pesach? You have to do sometimes some adjustments from the ingredients to make it for Pesach, but it's so easy. There are so many great resources out there, cookbooks, Facebook, uh, Facebook uh, groups, Instagram, cookbooks, WhatsApp chats. There's a whole, uh, so, sometimes the shuls are sending out information on how to make uh, a meaningful and exciting Pesach for you all.